Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to speed up your PC for free. Now this will make your computer a lot faster. So you can do this on your laptop or your computer. It will work exactly the same and you don't need to go out and spend any money to get it done either. So nice and easy. First of all, go to your desktop, right click, go to new, click on shortcut and type in MS config. So that's MS config and click on next then click on finish. Now you'll see the program shortcut is made on your desktop. So let's load it up. Now you want to take focus on only two tabs. We've got services and we've got startup. So that's all we're going to look at. Okay. Now startup, what this means is all the programs that load up and turn on when you put on your PC. So every time you turn on your PC, anything that's in the startup list, these are all the programs that will load up. So anything with a tick beside them means it will turn on when you turn your PC on. So, so let's go through the list. Let's see what we don't need. Now, naturally, I'm not going to need most of these, like Magic Disk. I'm not going to need that. I don't need this. Do you want Skype to load up every time you turn on your PC? Probably not. You don't need it. It's a big-ish program. It will take up a lot of memory. So let's turn it off. If you want to, lo if you want to load up Skype, you can simply find it in the Start menu. So I'm going to turn it off because I don't want it to turn on every time. So let's turn off this. I don't want this to load up every time I turn on my PC either. So let's turn this off as well. And this too. As you can see, I have pretty much disabled most of the programs on my PC from loading up already. Now my computer, as a result, is going to be a lot faster when I turn it on. So that's all the startup programs. We turned off a lot. So let's go into services now. Let's take a look here and see if there's anything in here that we don't need. So click on hide all Microsoft services. It's so important you click on that. You don't want to disable anything which is to do with Windows. So click on hide all Microsoft services. And these are all the programs and things that I've installed. Again, let's take a look through here and see what we don't need. So we don't need Apple uh, mobile device. This is to do with iTunes. I don't need anything like that. Bonjour, again, to do with Apple. Um, Dragon, we don't need a Google update to start every time I turn on the PC, I don't need that. I don't need Mozilla Firefox to load up either. I don't need Skype again, I don't need Steam to load up. I don't need TeamViewer. See, again, I've turned off most of these. My PC is going to be a lot faster when I turn on. So let's click on Apply. Let's click on OK. Now, straight away, we've turned off pretty much everything from loading up with our PC. Um, so that it'll be a lot faster when it turns on. If you have any problems, you can simply load up the program again and simply tick it and it will load up as normal. Um, but we should be fine. And now another trick I'm going to show you to speed up your PC is to actually disable some of these settings, the visual settings, which you don't really need. They just use up lots of memory and they're not really important. Uh, so first of all, go to computer, right click on computer and go to properties. Okay. Now, you'll see a list of options on the left-hand side. So you want to click on Advanced System Settings, like so, and it will load up with this dialog. Okay. Now, under Performance, click Settings, and untick anything that you don't need. So I won't be needing any of these. I would just click on Adjust for Best Performance, and when I click that, you'll notice that the appearance of my uh, computer will actually change. My, uh, it will go back to a very old-fashioned version. Uh, it will go back to a very old-fashioned kind of look. As you can see, it's using the classical style, which Windows older versions of Windows used to use. So we've turned off everything that we don't need. So I want it to be transparent, so I'm simply going to go to Personalize, and I'm going to click on Windows 7. I'm gonna, now, most of the features which aren't important will be disabled. Okay. So that's how you speed up your computer. This doesn't only work with Windows 7, this will work with Windows 8 and every other version of Windows.